Hi everyone, in this short video I'd like to show you how to use a magnetometer with your Arduino. So uh, this device here is uh, the magnetometer which I got from icstation.com. Uh, this device allows you to measure movement by measuring slight changes, slight variations in the magnetic field of the planet. So as this device is moving around, little magnets inside this microchip um, detect the differences or small variations in the magnetic field and those are translated in um, readings values that come out of, out of an I squared C interface. So um, the principle of operation is uh, fairly simple. There's a Wikipedia article that describes what a magnetometer is and how it works. But Essentially, um, this is a field, a magnetic field, that um, a magnet in this case produces. The Earth has got something similar to this, and all these little, little lines here um, indicate different values uh, of, the, um, of the magnetic field. And this, uh, this sensor can detect variations of these fields. Uh, of this field. So um, this uh, magnetometer can detect changes in three axes, so X, Y, and Z. So pretty accurate as well. So I'm going to show you how it works. Uh, to do that, I will plug it into my breadboard here. So as I said, this uh, device uses an R squared C interface. So just uh, four wires to do the connection. We use a uh, two wires for VCC and ground, and then we've got the SCO and SDA lines as well. So these are connected to the Arduino. So we've got um, on an Arduino Uno, uh, the I squared C uh, interface is connected to analog pins four and five. And I'm going to have the schematic and the wirings on the website that you can check out later. Um, so. Uh, for the demo, I've got two components to demonstrate. First is the sketch itself, which runs on the Arduino, and um, simply I import the wire library, which allows me to, uh, to utilize the R squared C interface. Uh, this is the address of the device, got some initialization code here. Then uh, inside a loop, I go and um, grab a measurement from the device. I split the measurement to the three axes, so values for the X, Y, and Z, and then I print them out just like this. So I print out the X and I add a comma, I print out the Y, another comma, and then the Z. I'll show you why I'm doing this. Wait for 10 milliseconds and then, then do the whole thing again. Now for the um, the demonstration. I'm also using uh, the processing language. So processing is a language that allows me to, in this case, visualize the output that is coming from the Arduino and the measurements that the Arduino is making. So uh, uh, this is the sketch uh, I'm telling. In my sketch, I am utilizing input coming from the serial port. Um, that serial port. Uh, has got a name uh, which differs between one system to the other even on my computer every time that I plug in the USB cable there's a different name to which I need to uh, connect my processing sketch I define its speed then I am listening for incoming messages from the serial port so every time that a new message comes from the serial port this uh, event function is triggered so I go and grab whatever the Arduino is sending me and I'm looking for whole lines uh, marked with a carriage return, a new line at the end and then um, grabbing the information in the stream and splitting it in three parts because remember that uh, my three values are separate by commas so I'm using the comma as a token using that to split the long string into three parts and each of these three parts are assigned to a different cell in this uh, array of strings. Then I grab the values from the array of strings and create 
a little bar chart. Let's run it. Actually, before I do that, I'll show you um, how I can figure out the name of my current serial port that my USB uh, connection is providing. So on the Mac at least, all you've got to do is uh, go into the dev directory and look at which devices exist under this name. So right now I've only got one USB device or a device. So this is the name that I need to use. Oops, this is a name that I need to use in this case and uh, paste it here so that my processing script knows which name to use. So I'll execute it. And uh, there's the output. I've got three bars. This this first one here is the X. This one is the Y, and that's the Z. And as I am moving the device around, you can see that the bars are changing. That's pretty accurate. An interesting thing is that since this is a magnetometer. I use a little fridge magnet. So this is stationary right now. Put the fridge magnet close to it and you can see that the readings change. So whenever you use this device, you need to have some confidence at least that there's not going to be any unwanted interference uh, that will uh, change your readings or introduce errors to your readings. So that's uh, the little demo this uh, very inexpensive and uh, interesting device. Have a look at my website for notes and uh, links for the sketches, both for the Arduino and the uh, processing sketch and information about this chip. Thanks for watching. See you soon.